60,582 is divided by 87. So find out the answer. Let's start the sum. So before you are going to start the division, write the place value. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, then ten thousand. Okay. So I have told you this is a what? This is a dividend and this is a divisor. So you have to consider the digits first. So first you take the single digit that is 6. 6 is less than 87. 6 is less than 87. So you can't divide. So go to the next digit that is 0. So now 60. Again 60 is also less than 87. So you can't divide. So go to the next digit that is 100th digit. So 605 is a greater number than the 87. So 605 is greater than 87. So divided by 605 now is divided by 87. So tell the tables of 87. Multiply 87 into 5 times. 7 5s are 35. 5 carry over is 3. 5 8s are 40. 40 plus 3 43. Okay. So again I will go for the next one. So 87 divided by 7 times. 7 7s are 49. The remaining is ghost on the top. 7 8s are 56. 56 plus 4 60. That is 609. But 609 is greater than 605. So we can go for 6 times. 6 7s are 42. The remainder is goes on the top. 6 8s are 48. 48 plus 4. 49, 50, 51, 52. I will repeat again. 6 7s are 42. 2. The remaining is goes on the top. Goes to the top. And the carry over. That is goes to the top. And 6 8s are 48. 48 plus 4. 49, 50, 51, 52. What is the answer? That is 522. So write the number 522 because it's less than 605. Now we are going to subtract. 5 minus 2, 3. So 0 minus 2 you can't subtract because 0 is a lesser number. So you can go to the next digit that is 6. Before digit. Go to the before number what is the 6. So if you borrow from 6 it will become 10 and it will become 5. Okay, so 10 minus 2, we can get 8. And 5 minus 5, 0. So no need to put 0 here again. So you have to bring down this digit because 83, this number is less than 87. So that you have to bring down this number. 838. So... 87 multiplied by 7, 9 7s are 63, 3, the remainder is goes to the top and 9 into 8, 72, 72 plus 6, 78, that is 783. Because 783 is less than this number, okay, then subtract 8 minus 3 5 and 13 3 minus 8 you can't subtract from 3 to 8 so you have to borrow from this digit so it becomes 13 you have to borrow 1 tens here so 10 plus 3 13 13 minus 8 you can get 5 again and this becomes 7 7 minus 7 you can get 0 so 55 less than 87 then you have to bring down the next digit that is 2 then 552. So again you have to multiply this. So I forgot to write the quotient. The first one is what is the number? This 522 in this place 6. Next is 9. So 9. Now again I have to write what is the number? That is uh, 552 is the dividend. You have to divide it by 87. So already I have done it. So what I am going to do is. 87 into 6 that is 522 while you go for 87 into 9 what is the number 609 
six not nine you should not write here. Why? Because six not nine is a greater than this number. So you have to write this number alone. That is eighty seven into six. I'll repeat once again. Eighty seven multiplied by six. Six sevens are forty two. Two. The remaining is go to the top and. Six eights are forty-eight. Forty-eight plus four fifty-two. So the what is the number you have to write? This five hundred and twenty-two is less than this number. So five hundred and twenty-two you have to write. So now two minus two you can get zero. Then five minus two you can get three. That is thirty. That is the reminder. And this is what six here. This is the quotient. Quotient. So quotient. I have already told you quotient. You got it. So I will write the quotient here. Six hundred and ninety-six. Then reminder is what thirty. So whether you know the answer is right or wrong, you have to find out. So you must follow the check method. What is the check method? Formula is quotient multiply by divisor within the bracket plus reminder. You can get the dividend. 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 So dividend means that is nothing but is a question. So six hundred and ninety six into what is the number eighty seven within the bracket plus thirty. You will get this question. If you get this question, that is if you get this dividend, you will find out the answer. That is quotient and reminder is correct. So I am going to multiply six hundred and ninety six. Multiply by eighty-seven. So six seven six are forty-two. One tens hundred. Seven six are forty-two. Two. The remaining is four on the top in tens place. And nine sorry seven nines are sixty-three. Sixty-three plus four sixty-seven. Seven. The remaining is go to the hundreds place. This is six. And seven six are forty-two. Forty-two plus six that is forty-eight. Next, again I have to multiply by eight. So before you're going to multiply by eight, in the ones place you have to put zero. So eight six are forty eight eight. The remaining is goes to the top again. Then eight and nine are seventy two seventy two plus four seventy six six. The seven is goes to the top. So in the hundreds place and eight six are what forty eight forty eight plus seven that is forty eight plus seven what fifty five. Fifty-five. So now you add the both numbers. Forty-eight plus seven, fifty-five. So two plus zero, two. Eight sevens are fifteen. Five carry over is one. Eight plus one, nine. Nine six are fifteen. Five carry over is one again. So five plus four, nine. Nine plus one, ten. Zero. Then carry over is again one. What is the number? Five plus one, six. The uh, that is. Quotient multiply multiply by divisor. You will get this answer sixty thousand five hundred and fifty two. But the answer is sixty thousand five hundred and eighty two. So what you are going to do sixty thousand five hundred and fifty two plus the remainder. That is remainder is what thirty. That is sixty thousand five hundred and fifty two. That you can get sixty five five two thirty. Sixty thousand five hundred and eighty-two. Two plus zero, two. Five plus three, eight. Again, five and zero and what? Six. Sixty thousand five hundred and eighty-two. Answer. So the answer is same. Sixty thousand five hundred and eighty-two. Because you got all the answers. If you multiply, if you multiply, you can get. Six nine six hundred and ninety six multiply by eighty seven sixty thousand five hundred and fifty two plus thirty. The answer is sixty thousand five hundred and eighty two. This is the perfect answer for this sum. So whatever you find out, the quotient as well as the remainder, both are same. Sorry, both are correct. Not both are same. Both are correct. So quotient is correct, and also the remainder is correct. And the final check method, the dividend is also correct. So your sum is correct. And students, I just want to uh, tell you, watch this uh, video many times and uh, practice the sum more time. Okay, then only you can 
uh, concentrate and you can uh, update the concept thoroughly.